لحديث التميم الداري فينطلق اليه ملك الموت في اقره صوره راها احد من الناس قط ذا انجل اوف ذات جوست ذيس داينج مان ان ذا موست اوفل اوف فورمز ويش اني بيري هاز ايفر سين له 12 عين يا فوضاي معه سفود من نار كثير الشوق It brings with it, the angel of death brings with him a forked iron rod made out of fire. ومعه 500 من الملائكة 500 angels black of faith. And these angels do not bring the sweet smelling bouquet of flowers as they did with the believer. معهم نحاس وجمر من جمر جهنم ومعهم سيات من نار. They bring with them copper embers of the fire of hell and they bring whips made out of fire this is how the angel of death and his army come to this dying person one Sayyidina Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala an the hadith reported by Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala an ask the angel of death to show me the form that you assume at the time of taking out the good soul and at the time of taking out the bad soul He first asked, Arini kifa taqbi dhuruh al-mu'min. Show me the form that you assume at the time of taking out a good soul. The angel of death told Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, Isrif wajhaka anhi. Turn your face away. The angel of death changed its form. When Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam looked at the angel of death, he saw a very handsome young man, beautiful of faith. His face had no white clothes. And with a beautiful smile. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said to the angel of death, Ke law lam yalqa al-mu'min min al-sururi shay'an siwa wajhik lakafa. That if a believer is deprived of every blessing, every ni'mah, every pleasure at the time of his death, just you coming in this beautiful and very handsome form is an adequate compensation. Then Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam said, Arini kayfa taqbi dharuh al-kafir. Show me how the form that you come when you take the soul of a kafir, of a non-believer. The angel of death said, O Ibrahim, la tutiqwa dharik. You will not be able to bear to see me in this form. Arini, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam insisted. The angel of death said, yet again, isrif wajhaka anhu. Turn your face away for a short while. And the angel of death, death changed its form. What does Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam see? He sees a man, black of faith. Rijlahu fil ard wa ra'suhu fil sama. His feet are on dunya and his head is in the heaven. With the most awful of smells coming from him. Fire leaping from his nose and coming out of his mouth. His body hair are like men. His hair covered with his body covered with hair and his hair are like men, each with fire coming out of his ears and come out of his nose and his mouth. His body hair are like men. His hair covered with his body covered with hair and his hair are like men, each with fire coming out of his ears and come out of his nose and his mouth. When Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam saw the angel of death in this form, he could not bear it and Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam fainted. When he came round, the angel of death had changed its form. And he said to the angel of death, Ke law lam, law lam yalqa al-kafir siwa nazratin ila shakhsik lakafa. That if, if a kafir, if there is no punishment for a kafir at the time of his death, O oh angel of death, which you're coming in this form, is sufficient to cause his death. The great Imam Imam al-Qurtubi in his work, Al-Tazkira fi ahwal al-mawta wal-akhira, right? كأن ملك الموت تهزأ منه الملائكة أشد من فز أحدكم من السبع. That I have been informed that all the angels fear the angel of death more than you, more than one of you fears a lion, fears a beast. The angel of death comes to him in this form. Fire coming out of his nose, fire coming out of his mouth, black of faith, with a forked iron rod in his hand made out of fire. Accompanied by 500 angels, black of faith, with embers of fire, copper, and whips of fire. And when they come to this dying person, 
Did you not greet him as salamu alayka ya wali Allah as was the case with the believer? The angel of death strikes him with his forked iron rod. He gives him such a beating that it pierces his body and the forks enter every vein and every joint. And then the angel of death begins to twist it and turn it once it's inside his body. Just imagine a prickly thorn inside your body from your head to your feet. And the thorns inside your veins and inside your joints. In every vein, every joint, there are thorns. And then somebody comes and begins to turn and twist this inside your body. How much pain will one feel at that time? It is indescribable. The angel of death will turn this forked iron rod inside his body so he feels pain. And then he will begin to take out his soul, beginning from his toes, and he will stop it at his feet. And the body will swoon. And the angels that have come with him, the angels that have come with him will begin to beat him with the whips of fire that they have brought with him. Then the angel of death will begin to take out the soul from the ankles and stop at his knees. The body will swoon. And the angels will beat him. And then he will take it out from his knees to his waist. The body will swoon and the angels will beat him. Then from his waist to his chest, the body will swoon and the angels will beat him. And he will keep on stopping it at every joint so that the body feels more pain. Then they will place the embers of fire on the copper under his neck. And the angel of death will say, Oh, curse soul, come out to the fire of hell. Come out to a place where there is scorching wind, scalding water, and shadow of black smoke, which is no cool, no refreshing. 